You can see my breath. Er. and welcome back to Kirsty Scars. It's Sunday evening. I've been working all day. I'm super tired, but I'm ready to get something done. Like I just need to get something done around here. You know that feeling? So the super needs an oil change. Ugh, so boring and typical. I really don't want to do it, but it does need to get done. So I might do that. I might also start on some body work on the Nova. Um, there's just so many things I could do. Uh, I want to... Uh, uh, fix the tip of my cue, my pool cue. I like playing pool, and my tip broke off last time I played, so I am gonna fix that. I ordered a little kit thingy, my jigger, and we're gonna do it. It's out of my realm. It's not something I usually do, but I can fix anything. You know, that's just the mindset you gotta have. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get rolling on song. Hell yeah. You know those days when you're like under the car and you can like see your own breath and you're like why am I doing the oil right now? It's one of those days. As you can see here, I got my old uh, my old stock wheels, Subaru wheels. Uh, got some tires thrown on them, and I am going to take off the purple ones and put on the old ones for the winter time. Um, as much as I love the purple and the lowered look, um, it is Colorado, and I do work nights, and you know, shit happens. So I really, uh, I really just need to do this. So. Let's go.
I'm trying to look for my tire iron, but I can never seem to find things when I need to. So I'm going to go ahead and snug them up with the impact, and then when I get all four wheels done, then we'll go ahead and use the tire iron when I find it. So the Subaru got her stock wheels put back on for the season, and now I'm going to dabble on something I've never done before, but I'm going to attempt to re-tip my pool cue, which should be interesting. Alright, so we're here in my room. Woo! This is the kit that I ordered. This is not a top-of-the-line kit, okay? It's like catch up on money time and you know, we don't buy the best of the best right now. You know, we save that for tax time and car parts. So I just bought this cheap Q tip repair kit, you know, my Q. Um, this was the first Q that I got. Um, first Q that I learned how to play with. Um, it's just held a lot of memories and it's won me a bunch of games so i absolutely love this cue it's dirty it's uh tingy but it's me you know what i mean um it's a 21 um but as you can tell i lost my tip i mean it lasted a long time this i had it for two or three years before I lost the tip so, so i'm gonna take the time right quick and re-tip it try to so we'll see I got this kit though which when you open it you're like uh, see oh. anyways we got some tips this little sandy wheel thing this thing that I don't know what it is this thing sandpaper don't know what these are but that's something then there's this contraption with a rubber bandy thing. And what is this? Did they give me like chalk? Oh, they did. They gave me some master's chalk. Hey, that's cool. I don't know. Um, but yeah. So there's like all, oh yeah. And the 10 minute cement. And whatever this majigger is. So we got all of these majiggers that we really uh, don't know what they do. Do you see how like. Uh, chunky that is there's a whole bunch of glue residue stuck on it and stuff just guess I bet that's what all the sandpaper is for v-shaped cue rest and sander top ooh I see now all right so these two go together color-coded for a reason so Note how the arm on the end of the cue rest should drop into position between the flanges to revolve on the track under the flanges around the lower rim of the sand top. Okay, so this is the instructions that I'm reading here. And it just like gives you a brief little description with like a picture in black and white that you're supposed to uh, refer to. So, let's see here. Okay, okay, I'm getting there. All right, so place the unit over the end of the cue as shown in the photo to the right. Grip and hold tightly the cue rest and the cue in the left hand, applying slight pressure and rotating in a semi-circular manner to stand the cue and inform a flat base. Why the left hand? I'm right-handed. It doesn't feel right. Grip and hold the tight, grip and hold the tightly. Okay, this must be from China. Guys, this is from China. Their English is all whack, man. Oh my gosh. Grip and hold the tightly the cue rest and the cue in the left hand. 
<laughs> whatever. Okay, I think I get the gist of this. Look, I think you just place the cue here. I think that's why they said the left hand, because you want to use your right hand to hold it in place. China. All right, it looks good. Looks a lot better than it did. Bam. It's all smooth and stuff. All right. Now, for the hard part. <clears throat> Plastic cue clamp, which, ding, 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 rubber band gun. That's what it looks like to me. All right. Oh, okay. I see. Okay. But I am missing. I am missing something, dog. I didn't get the cue clamp. What? Oh. Oh. I just had to use my mind for like two seconds. Um, yeah, the, the cue clamp isn't anywhere in there. So, but here it is, attached to this. <laughs> Why couldn't they have just broke that off? Like, so then I'd know. Whatever. And what they don't tell me on these instructions is what the heck this is for. I have no idea. Cement explosion. call it a night though I am pooped we got the oil and the filter changed on the L she's running smooth she's running nice we got to rip her around Loveland for a minute which is always fun and I always feel like dad's right there with me all my dad's vibes put into one car pretty much you know so super fun day I'm glad I got something done even though I'm feeling like crap hola you know I had a blast, and I just can't thank you guys enough for joining me on these little stupid projects that I'm throwing out, just trying to make content for you guys. I appreciate every single one of you. I hope you know that, and I will catch you around shortly.